hello 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 and welcome back to another reaction video yes got a surprising one today got a woman who actually is in target or target whichever one you want to call it still is over two 2500 worth of merchandise so I'm about to jump right into it make sure you like and comment subscribe on the video and all my social medias that you see on the screen let's get into it let's see here all right let's see what is going on with this one i mean this is usually an overnight thing i'm trying to make arrangements for my dog and this alone on march 5th 2024 officers were dispatched to target in response to an ongoing shoplifting incident okay while en route the officers were informed by loss prevention staff that the female suspect had already concealed items in a container. The loss prevention officer recognized the suspect from a previous incident at a different target in another state. Oh man, Upon really? Arrival, the officers waited for the suspect to pass all points of sale before taking further action. She's known for pushing, uh, loading her car up, pushing out um, at the Hilton Head store. Mm -hmm. So we recognized her when she came in. Hilton Head store, store. that's Hilton South Carolina. Store. Gaming headset. She put inside a container. She's selecting a few more things, mm -hmm. so she's gonna end up trying to push out most likely. Um, one of our coworkers says she knows her from back in the day, and apparently in November. Evie said, "Huh? Evie said, was she the Evie said female? female? No, 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 no. She's None. slender. Or the lady? Okay. Yeah, she, she doesn't look. Special. Yeah, she's slim. She'll take it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I know, I know somebody in the past, but." No, she's a white woman, like in her mid forties. Okay. Blonde. No, about to say she in her mid mid forties or like whatever. Um, but not her. Um, but she's uh, my buddy's gonna let me know when she's like headed out. Because okay. if she for some weird reason ends up paying for anything, I don't want to stop her. You know, unlock like. Oh right, right, but but it's, it's just a story. We just go by the store policy because once if you read the code section pertaining to shoplifting, mm -hmm. right? Once the person on. Uh, Conceal. Mm -hmm. Once the person can seal, you know, that's it. That's shop looking right there. Yeah. Like, yeah, pretty much. You know, policy, you don't, she, won't, she must pass. All points of sale. Points of sale. Right. So that y'all got y'all own you know, law, then y'all got up y'all. Right, right. Policy and law is obviously way different. Um, apparently, the lady I shot with in back in November grabbed her ex husband's girlfriend and tried to put her in her car. Take her. I don't know if she was trying to kidnap her. Apparently, she tried to handcuff her. I don't know the, the whole. The hell's going on with this lady? Apparently, she tried to grab her ex husband's new girlfriend and tried to handcuff her and put her in her car. Wow. Okay. Well, she put back up. No, she's grabbing more stuff. Uh, huh. Is it a felony? Yeah, maybe. maybe. She, she, yeah, she probably, probably go for a felony. Yeah. yeah. She trying to go for a felony. Oh, so then the in Georgia waited for 20 minutes until the female suspect eventually attempted to exit the store with a box full of merchandise. Oh, my God. Hi. Hey, ma'am. How's it going? Good. I know we're going to detain you for shoplifting here, so you're not going anywhere, but... I'm just gonna check your box here. Sir, you don't have to detain me. I'll just to the AP office. I'll call me, ma'am. Just follow him, please. You, I don't need to be detained. Yes, ma'am, you do. Yes, please you do. Please don't do this to me. Ma'am, no one's doing this to you. We need to follow. You're doing it to yourself. Please. It's either you come with us without cuffs or with cuffs. I have a dog at home. That's fine. With or without cuffs. The choice is yours. Are you taking me to jail? You're being detained right now. You're being detained? Are you taking me to jail? Lady, come on, yo. <laughs> For real. Now, I'm about to say, you already done tried to steal, walk out with the stuff. You, you can't tell nobody what they can and cannot do, especially a police officer. You done did the do. As soon as you walk past them registers, it's a wrap. Yeah, 
Well, I'm just going to ring up all the stuff. Wow. Headphones alone, probably about a good fifty dollars. Fifty or hundred dollars. Why she end up getting cleaner and all that, I don't know. I don't know why they be saying that. I've realized that. Come on, man. Why would you? I never, I never understood that shit. Like never, never, ever, 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 ever understood that. If you leave it in the car, okay, that's fine. You you leave it in the car. Why would you leave it at home? Like that doesn't make any sense at all. It could be anything. Prior you sitting up here trying to steal stuff, you could have gotten an accident. You could have sit up there and try to show proof that you bought it or something like that or anything in that nature. You probably would have wanted to go to the bank or something like that. And they might want to show you ID. Something in that nature where you have to go show your ID. You leave it at home. How are you going to get it done? Like, I un never understood that. There's no way you can just excite me. No. No. That's not the way it works, man. I'm sorry, but that's not the way it works. That's not the way it works. My dog is going to have nowhere to go. Yeah, you see all of you worrying about this dog right yeah, now. Yeah, you can handle it. See? The way this works, this is the way it works. You're, you're 48 years old, right? You see all of this stuff? You She's about 50. This is a huge store. They got cameras everywhere. All right? And whatever you were, whatever you took, they seen in camera. And whatever you paid for, they could tell whatever you paid for. The world's first titanium nonstick pan. Then blow your hair back. I'm Mike Pagale, three Michelin. All right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's pretty much a poor decision on your side. Very poor decision. Very yeah. poor decision. Mm -hmm. All these cameras here. They got their product, they work. They got their merchandise, their items inside the store, and you, it doesn't matter what it is. And if you feel like you want to skip scan or whatever you want to do, they could, I'm saying, even if you skip scan, skip scan means you're pretending like you're paying for an item. Okay. okay? They could tell you exactly. Their, their video camera could zoom in on you. It could zoom right in on your, on your phone, your credit card, to see exactly what you're doing. Okay? We've been here for like... Almost an hour. Minutes? Watching you, watching you, watching you, watching you, doing all of this. Come on, come on, come on, man. You're, you're too grown for this. Come on. Guys, I'm begging you. Hey, ain't no time to be begging now, man. I don't, I don't see how that works. <laughs> I mean, the unfortunate thing is the dog is caught in the middle of it, but, you know, that doesn't change what you've done here. Give me a second. No, of course. There's nothing you guys can do to work. No. Correct. No. We have a case on you. Uh, this is not your first time doing this. Nope. And yeah, there's nothing. We're gonna get a total. They're getting a total right now for all the ink. Um, it's definitely over the amount. So I'm not. I, I don't send you. I don't do any of that. But the amount of the ink that you had is probably over dollars just for today, plus what you have on you already. So. So how much? This has to be on a rest situation? Uh, with this amount, yeah. Um, it might right be a now, felony situation. At $2, Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a felony. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. Does this mean that they'll be keeping me overnight? Or I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. Man. Does your jail. They're going to be keeping you for a little bit. Talking about overnight, they're gonna keep you for a little bit. A couple hours with like shoplifting and stuff, from what I 
I've seen, but I can't like guarantee you anything. Well, you want my car? Is my car okay to stay here? Yeah, it is. I mean, is there any chance they're going to keep me overnight? <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah, it just depends. That's a question for the jail. I really am just because of my dog. I'm just concerned yeah. about my dog. I, I, Man, bump that dog. You won't even worry about that dog. Make arrangements for your dog right now. That's what I do. That's what I do. Hopefully that. But I mean, in these types of situations, yeah. is it typically an overnight stay? Um, I mean, at this time, it could go either way, just because it's four o'clock. So, but like you said, for shoplifting, it's usually a couple hours. Okay. But. I mean, that's, again, that's a question for over at the jail. Totally ridiculous question. But can I get that for the lamp box? Do I get that back? Um, that's for Target. Yeah, you, that's between you, and Target. you can keep the box, you can put it in your car, or we can issue a refund for the box itself. Because so you did. Refund will be fine. Okay. okay. You did pay for the box, we saw that. Okay. Um, just not the contents inside. Okay, do I see it? Yes, thank you. I mean, is it usually an overnight? I'm trying to make arrangements for my dog. I'm just Here she go. I mean, look, we can't. We can keep telling you the same thing yeah, over and yeah. over. But. I know, but you do this a lot, I'm sure. So what do you typically see? I mean, typically, do I arrest people for shoplifting at Target a lot? Not necessarily. Shoplifting. So, um, I mean, it could go either way. Like I told you before, you can ask them when you're out there. In the event that it does be an overnight thing, I would, again, make arrangements for your dog now so that either way you're covered. You know what I'm saying? Right. Is this typically like a, a friend's that will sign a bond amount? Or? Uh, these are questions that I cannot answer for you. That would be... You've been saying he can't judge. answer those. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know at all. I mean, that's whatever the judge decides based on uh, many circumstances. If there is a bond, is a person allowed to bond themselves out? Like, do you have a debit card? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got a felony. Mm -hmm. Unless it changes, unless the court changes there, um, but we go, we verify for you. Okay. But the last time I checked, once it's a felony, you must face a judge. Unless it changes beyond my knowledge, you know, we just officers, we don't, we're not wrong. Good luck. Cause like I said, you gonna be staying for a while. No, what I'm saying is this: based on my knowledge, whenever it's a felony amount, you do not post no one. So maybe after you see a judge, then you can the judge will decide whatever you do. I know sometimes we post bond and all that stuff, but sometimes you gotta see a judge first. But this is a felony amount. I I, I get that. So when you see a judge first, then they will decide. I thought you said there was a chance it could be out today. Mm -hmm. No, 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 I said that's up to the judge. That's what the judge is going to decide in the courts and all that. She always she trying. She trying to decide that. So. See, I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to get them, trying to get them on tape saying, you know, on video saying that, oh yeah, there's a possibility you might get, you might get out overnight or whatever, and try to hang that over their head. No, you're not going to do that. And it's like it's. It's a mad annoying because she keep asking the same questions and they keep giving her the same answer. And whatever the outcome is, it's not going to sit up there and go in your favor. It's a felony. Like, seriously. And plus, they just sat up there and just had that conversation before you came out. It had to be over 500 in the state of Georgia. So, yeah, you, you blew past that a lot. And distance-wise, by a mile. That's a done deal, baby. Done deal. You know, I'm just, and then you're asking about being out overnight. I already knew that one won't happen. Yeah, that's that's going to be some days, probably some weeks, depending on how, how fast you see that judge. I don't know. It's it, Yeah. I wish she just stopped asking the questions because she's she not getting out. This time of day, it's not going to get decided today. No, no, no. So it's a guarantee out there overnight. Yeah, I, like I said, we, we, we uh, like Savannah, I said, George. my knowledge, it, they, you see a judge like in the morning. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, I don't want to give her information that's wrong, misleading information. Yep, tell you. You understand what I'm saying? I, I do. Right. But there's, there's zero chance I could get out today. I, like I said, maybe you go there, they say, hey, it's time for you to go see the judge. I don't know. All right, Miss Hill. Let's go. Real quick. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. What's that receipt there? Is that for your refund? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. 
The woman was charged with felony shoplifting and received a lifetime ban from Target. Share your thoughts below and remember to like and subscribe for more videos. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I'm just saying, it's just... I never understood why people do the things they do. I really never understood that. I really don't. But yeah, make sure you share your thoughts, like, comment, subscribe. As always, see y'all in the next video. Follow me on all my socials. Mount this thing. Till next time.